Apple loves making Air things. MacBook Air, Air Port, iPad Air, Air Joy, and well, the new AirPods. But you know, the original were pretty good. And now I've had over a week to spend with these second generation or new AirPods. What I think, what's different, what's changed. Let's find out with a little review. The new AirPods appearance wise, looks nearly identical as the original with only a little LED light outside if you got the wireless charging version. The normal charging one looks just like the old model. It also pairs to your phone the same, it sounds the same, the AirPods themselves still look like toothbrush heads, they feel exactly the same, and you still can't change the volume using touch controls. The wireless charging version is $200, and the regular charging case version of the new AirPods are the standard $160. So what makes these new? What's different about this compared to the old AirPods? Well, the first thing is the price tag. The more expensive model gives you a new wireless charging case. They now have longer phone call talk time, which make them a great option for screaming at your significant other and arguing with them over the phone. And now they even have Hey Siri support, which means now you can ask Siri on your AirPods, why do you feel sad all the time? Or why does the wireless charging version of the case cost so much? Instead of having to double tap on your AirPods to do that exact same thing. The old AirPods had two custom gestures and asking Siri by double tapping was one of them. But now that Siri is its own dedicated thing where you can just ask for her, like you should have been in the first one, by the way. You can use double tap for one ear for one thing and double tap in the other ear for a different thing and not make Siri take up one of those spots. The new AirPods are also now a little bit faster when you're switching between devices. Before it would take like 10 seconds to switch from my iPhone XS Max over to my MacBook Pro. But now, now it's just a good, solid, much more usable two to three seconds. My time's valuable, okay? In that department, I think it's a huge improvement. Now, after using the new AirPods for over a week, I found myself using it the same way I used the original AirPods. There wasn't any major changes that made me drastically shift how I used this product. The only difference with these is I find myself using the wireless charger a lot, especially for the AirPods case, because you can just leave it on the charger while you're listening. And when it's time to go, you just pick it up, pop those suckers in and get out. While with the older AirPods and the non-wireless version, you have to pull the guy out, pop open your thing, put them back in and then go out. It really saves you a little bit of time. So here's something I would change though, and, and it might be just me, but in the Bluetooth settings on your phone, you can change which AirPod does what action, double tap on the right earbud to skip a track. You can double tap on the left one to play pause. And that's great, that's much needed. It, it's efficient, it, it works, it's not the best, but it works okay. But the problem is when you pair it with something else, when you pair it with your iPad, it's still that, that's great. In iOS, it's perfect. But the moment you use it on Mac OS, it's, it's just stuck. It's just stuck on calling up Siri every time you double tap. And there's no option to change it either, which I think they would do considering it is an Apple product. So much for integration on that end. So really, if you ask me if it's worth upgrading from your older AirPods, I would say no. The new ones add minor improvements that lets you set it up even faster and have longer talk time for people who make a lot of calls. You pay a premium over its base price if you want a wireless charging case. So for current AirPod users, it's not completely worth it unless your AirPods are officially dead. If you don't have a pair of AirPods, however, these are good. I enjoy them. They provide a nearly seamless experience when switching from device to device that you don't really get with other brands as often. The sound is good. It's not fantastic. It sounds exactly the same as the original AirPods, so keep that in mind. And they're not the upgrade everyone was hoping for, but at the same time, they're not a complete disappointment either. This is just an eh upgrade. Anyway, guys, what do you think? Would you get these new AirPods or would you rather get a different completely wireless earbud? Or do you not like wireless earbuds at all? Or would you replace your original AirPods with these? Leave all that down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And well, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.